Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Before I raise and support the vehicle, I'm going to remove the center cap with a flat bladed screwdriver. There's a little opening right here. Just pop it right off. You don't have to take the lug nuts off on this one. I'll put that aside. I want to get to the axle nut so I can spin it off. It's easier to spin the axle nut off with the wheel on the car and the vehicle on the ground. So you're not trying to turn the wheel. Otherwise, you'd have to have someone step on the brake for you if the vehicle is up on jack stands. This particular car has steel wheels with that center cap that pops out from the middle or that pops out from the outside. If you had a vehicle that has alloy wheels, the center cap might be pushed into the, into the center here and you would have to remove the wheel, pop the cap out, then replace the wheel to get to this axle nut. This axle nut does not use a cotter pin. It's what they call staked. So after it was torqued, it was then punched into this channel here and fold it in. That way it can't spin off. To remove it, we need to bend that out. So I'm gonna clean some of this dirt and grime out of here. I'm gonna switch to this little punch. I really just need to get it up just enough so it will spin off the threads. It's starting to go. It's not really pushed down very deep into this channel. I'm just gonna try removing it with the socket. I'm going to spray some rust penetrant on here. Use a long breaker bar and a 12.30 millimeter socket. This is a large impact socket. It's actually an axle nut socket. I need to put it on here. This is why you want the vehicle on the ground with the wheel, because it does take a lot of force to remove it. I'm just going to give it quite a few turns, but I'm not going to remove it all the way. I just want it to be able to spin it easier when the vehicle is up in the air. Now I need to break the lug nuts free. I'm going to use a 21 millimeter deep socket, my breaker bar, and I'll loosen up these lug nuts. Now we can raise and support the vehicle and remove the tire and wheel. I'm going to switch to just the socket and finish removing the lug nuts. The wheel is seized to the hub and rotor. This can be pretty common. I'm going to put a couple lug nuts back on just lightly. Take our dead blow mallet. We're going to hit right on the tire. It should knock it free. Might take one hit, could take 10 hits, but just give it some uh, good hits with a hammer and it should break free. The lug nuts hold it on there so the wheel doesn't fall off. Now you can take the wheel off and put this aside. I want to move this axle nut out further because I want to make sure the axle is free from the hub inside and the splines before I start to remove other stuff. It still wants to spin this. This is why you do it, you initially do it without with the wheel on here. Kind of hold this with a pry bar. Sometimes, if you put a lug nut on here, give it a little more secureness. That's good like that. Now I can spray some rust penetrant in here. There are splines inside the hub where the axle sits. And they do look pretty rusty. I want to get some rust penetrant in there to let it soak. Take our pry bar off. Actually, I'm going to thread this lug nut down, keep the rotor from flopping around on me. I take our dead blow mallet. I'm going to tap the axle to try to make to try to break it free. Perfect, so I know 
that when I undo the ball joint and I go to slide the axle out, it's gonna come out of the hub. It's not gonna fight me with this thing moving around because right now it's all nice and secure. It was easy to knock this axle free. CV axles do have uh, some in and out play on them, so that's what allowed me to do that. I'm gonna remove this axle nut even more, but not completely. There we go. Perfect. Don't have to go all the way. There's a couple threads left that way. One, if, once I undo this, it won't just like pop out. So, but that's nice and loose and I don't have to fight with it afterwards when everything else in the suspension is loose. To unbolt the ball joint from the lower control arm, there's a single bolt here and two nuts here. I'm gonna spray them with some rust penetrant. Start on the top of this bolt and try to get these nuts here. These are 17 millimeter using a 17 millimeter socket extension and a long ratchet. It's not as bad. And now then the bolt. I'm gonna remove the bolt first. I remove the two nuts. I'm gonna use this pry bar and separate them. I gotta pull the control arm down and get it off these studs that are on the ball joint. So I'm just gonna pry between the ball joint and the control arm, just pop them off. Just like that. Now I'm gonna undo the axle nut. I'm gonna grab the hub rotor, the whole assembly. It's supported by the upper strut. And at the same time, I'm gonna pull the axle out from the back and just kind of separate them. Just like that. To give myself extra clearance, I'm just gonna turn the wheel. That's better. That prevents the whole knuckle, the weight of it from resting on the axle. That should help me remove it. Driver's side axle goes over here and into the transmission. It is possible that when you undo this, you may lose some transmission fluid, so you should have a drain pan handy. You're gonna use a pry bar. Kind of find the edge of the axle. This little slot might work. And it's gonna pry against the transmission case. And you just have to pop it out of the snap ring. There it is. I just had to bounce the pry bar a bit. Now I'm gonna guide it out. Don't wanna damage the seal in the transmission. And we have our axle assembly. Here's the original driver's side CV axle removed from our vehicle and our brand new one from moneyauto.com. There's no core charge on this. It's an exact match as far as dimensions. It has the ABS tone ring. Comes with a new axle nut. It has the same style snap ring. It goes into the transmission. This will fit great and work great in our vehicle. I'm gonna take off the new axle nut, put that aside. We're gonna guide our axle into the transmission. Go out the same way, go in the same way I took the old one out. I also have to reach in here and I want to guide it into the transmission and be careful not to damage the seal. There are splines in the transmission so you might have to turn it a little bit. It should slide right in. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to get it kind of started. It'll kind of go in and then stop and it's at the snap ring. Just to help myself out here, I'm going to bungee this out of the way. It's just being very annoying. Set up and hit it home. So it is seated. So we did have some transmission fluid leak out. So I'm just gonna wipe that up. I'm gonna take the bungee cord off now. I'm gonna put the axle back into the hub. Push it out. 
can actually turn the axle or twist it. Get it lined up in the opening. You might have to turn it a little bit to get the splines to line up. It should slide right on. Capture the new axle nut, just a few threads so it doesn't fall off. I'm going to turn this whole assembly straight again. I need to get this up under here. I can try to pull it down. Now see I left the axle nut loose, so I do have play this way. I can move it around. I'm going to use a pry bar to pry down on the control arm. this around, switch hands, get the studs lined up first, push in, there we go, I get these nuts caught. Now I can use these nuts, pull the ball joint in. Now the bolt hole is closer, so I can reinstall the bolt. I'm gonna to torque the two nuts and the bolt, 55 foot-pounds. As soon as it clicks, it's all set. So I'm going to use the axle nut socket and just thread the axle nut down. Now I did touch the surface with my greasy gloves. I don't want any of that in our brake components, so I'm just going to use some brake parts cleaner and just clean that off. Take this lug nut off. I'll reinstall the wheel, lower the vehicle to the ground, torque the lug nuts, and then torque the axle nut. Install the lug nuts by hand. I'm just gonna take the socket, just snug these lug nuts up. They do have a cone seat, and they'll kind of seat themselves into the wheel and align it up. I'm gonna lower the vehicle to the ground. I'm gonna torque the lug nuts to 76 foot pounds in a cross pattern. I'm gonna torque the axle nut to 217 foot pounds. Now I need to stake the axle nut so it doesn't spin loose. So I'm going to use a punch and a ball peen hammer. I'm going to line it up right at the edge here on the groove. Now it's staked in place. Replace your center cap. Just clips into place. The job is complete. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.